people welcome back to my channel for another unboxing video guys yep I'm really banging these out lately well this one is another early birthday present from the fantastic Dell or as he's known here Dell's handheld games now he sent me quite a few items guys uh, early birthday presents so yeah I've looked at some already this is absolutely awesome guys and um, the one I'm going to unbox this time now there is a family of systems Chinese family clones guys that are known as a family pocket now you've got the family pocket handhelds and then you've also got this oh yes look at that the box is already cool it really really is but I'm not going to show you too much obviously as usual we're going to unbox it, we're going to look around the system and then we're going to play on it. Now this is one of the ones that you plug into the TV. So yeah, you have a lead that comes with it, that plugs into the unit and then that plugs into the TV the other end. So yeah, what will you get on here guys? Now, on some of the handhelds you have a little SD slot which is hidden up and a lot of people don't even realise that it's there guys. In fact, I think I've got it lying here. Yes, now this is in... Uh, red and black but you can get it in that gold color just like that guys as well so you can get the yeah you can get that version as well oh it's just getting out the ring light so yeah that's the family pocket handheld there that is a little stunner it really really is and like i said guys it's got a hidden sd slot that a lot of people don't even realize that it's there and i might even have had it for like over a year and i still didn't realize it was there because it's hidden up but um yeah it'd be interesting to see Will this have one of those? We'll have a good look and see if there is. I doubt it. And uh, it's got uh, a lot less games on it. It's got, I think, 20, I do believe, games on here. They are listed on the side there as well. So we'll have a look at that in a bit. So yeah, guys, would you like to join me as we take a look at the Family Pocket Portable Player? Mm. In the Family Pocket line, guys, this could be bloody awesome, couldn't it? Let's find out, shall we? as we unbox it, look at it, and play on it. And then we'll have a think about just how damn good it might be. Or maybe not, eh? I'm sure it's going to be absolutely brilliant. Because I'll tell you what, if there's one thing me and Dell absolutely adore, is these kind of systems, guys. These funny old knockoff systems, we love them. Right, back in a sec with the unboxing. Right, guys, here we go. First of all, I'd like to apologise if you can hear a lot of rain in the background. Even though it's been the hottest on record here in the UK, we have now had the heavens open and the rain is pouring. But yeah, let's get back to the point of this video, shall we? And it is the family pocket. Oh yeah, and in this case, guys, it's not the handheld, it's the family pocket player. Or portable player even though it's not a handheld, as I just said. But yeah, this was another birthday present from the wonderful Dell. Oh my word, do me and Dell love these kind of weird Chinese knockoffs, guys. So this is a wonderful, tiny little box. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the front here. So you've got classic TV games, 5 Plus Mini, and a special shape. Mm. Then it here is the model number at the top. Then we have Famicom built in TV plug play. And then we have only one AAA so a triple A battery. And there it shows you what's that micro USB? Hmm. Okay then, so you can obviously power it with a lead and battery. I presume that's what it is. But yeah, there's the front, guys. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Very much like in the uh, the whole family pocket line, really. It looks very much like 
one of the family pocket handhelds. The same kind of thing with the older, yeah, Famicom kind of look to it. Yeah, very cool. I'll be very interested to see what that is. Is that just a speaker or what? Or is that an actual analogue? I don't know. We shall find out. But yeah, here's the side of the box, guys. <laughs> this, what's that? Jabra packaging. Our well, package was carefully designed with the environment in mind. Please remember to recycle. No, I won't. I don't get rid of any of my boxes. Here on the back, guys, it shows you all the functions of the buttons. Obviously, you can't see it all because of the sticker there. But yeah, it, you know, it shows you all the different ones there and what they do. And a load of gubbins at the bottom. Tells you what you get in there. One manual. AV cable. Portable player. Include the gift box. The pigeon English again, guys, is just hilarious. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Look at that as well, guys. This product is with <laughs> patent. Yeah, I'm bloody sure it is. There we are. Yeah, and then the other bit there, guys. Look, it shows you a lot of cubbins again. I presume that's some of the games on there. Yes, it is. Because you've got Aladdin 3. Oh, yeah, because that was a game that was made. Not. There's the bottom. And there's the top. Again, I presume that's just showing colours, maybe. I don't know. Are they stickers? No, they're not. That's printed on. So I'm not too sure about that one, guys. Not too sure at all. But I guess it's time to open it up. So what do I need, as usual, guys? The trusty, dusty knife. Oh, yes, here's the trusty, dusty knife. Let's get in there, shall we? So, yeah, we'll go here, guys. That seems to be where the sellotape is loose, is it? I hope it is. Yeah, there we go. We're in. We're in already. Wow. Let's see what we see when we first open it. There we go. So, yeah, it's a grape tray. There is a manual, as it said, on the packaging. Yeah, cool. That looks... Uh, very interesting there. There's the uh, unit itself. Oh, he says trying to get its focus better. There we go, right, okay, so let's pull it out. Appears to be this way around. Yes, it is. So the box is now empty, guys, so we'll put that aside. And yeah, that's what we now see. Yeah, very much like the handhelds in look. I mean, obviously, there is a black and red one handheld, which does look different, which is the uh, a fantastic one then wow look at this that is some cable and a half there wow that is really long that is wicked that is obviously the TV cable very basic red yellow and then just the plug to go into the unit itself but yeah that is awesome the length on that guys is lovely you can see that already wicked and put that aside and then we have the manual here so we'll have a look at that first before we look at the actual unit. Right, let's see which way around are we? This way. So yeah, is it going to be in English? Yeah, it does appear to be, doesn't it? When it says everything in English there. Look at that one, that one's purple. The unit on here. But yeah, you can see all the bits and bobs there, guys. Does it open? I presume it does. Yes, it does. Just a little bit. There we are. So there it shows you how to put the battery in. Not that, you know, you wouldn't know, eh? Unless you're very stupid. Micro USB. There we go. Oh, that rain's getting heavier, guys. <laughs> it's your, uh, your sale service card. Yeah, I'll bloody bet. <laughs> I don't know how far that would get you, eh? And there's the, uh, the other side, guys. Obviously that we saw already, and there's all the functions and whatever. <laughs> there we go, yep, so that is the bit of uh, toilet paper. Then, like I said guys, we have just the tray and the unit left. 
Here we go, there's the tray. Yeah, the old great tray again. Yeah. And then here is the unit. Let's see if I got it the right way around. Now I have. So what is that? Oh, it's just a button that clicks in, guys. That's your menu button. Okay. I'll tell you what, actually. Let's try these first. Yeah, they actually feel really, really nice, considering. And there we have select and start. So yeah, so you've got your A, your B, your X, your Y, you've got your directional pad, you have a menu button, then you have select and start. Now I love the look of this guys. I'm a very big fan of the Japanese uh, Famicom. So I absolutely love the look of that. And there we go, you know, it says family pocket there. And in Chinese underneath. Yeah, mini. What's that say? Mini what? Oh, trying to get a mini pad. Go. Hmm. Slim system, is it? Slim station. There we go. Slim station. So yeah, that looks pretty damn cool. Does it have shoulder buttons? No, it doesn't. They're just fake. But it does seem to have. Oh no, that's the TV out. It's just about to say maybe it's a headphone jack, but it's, not. it's TV out, guys. There's the uh, yeah to plug it in over power. Nothing there, no, it just says well STG, I think that's what it says. Then we have on and off here, I presume. On that side, nothing. So, yeah, that's it, guys. That's all the functions. Then it says lift there, obviously, to get in to put the battery in. And it has the markings here, guys, yeah, on and off AV, USB. And then lift. And there might have been a screw in there at one point, but I'm very happy to say it's not there now. Cool. Right, so how do we get into this? Let's have a look. Do we just literally pull it here? Yes, you do. There we go, guys. Now there's the battery flap. It's just like that. And then inside, guys, is literally just the space for that one battery. So yeah, on some of the handhelds, guys, you get a little memory card slot. This does not appear to have one. So you literally, you're just going to have the games that are there. Sometimes it's a bit hidden up, but I don't think it is in this scenario here. Because it's usually like tucked down here somewhere. But I can't see anything there. No, so no SD slot. It just tells you what battery to use. Yeah, that is pretty damn cool. Right, let's put that back on, he says, if you can. Because you know what time it is now, don't you? It's time to get this, and this of course, and plug it into the TV, and see what is on this little baby, eh? So shall we do that next, guys? Back in a sec. Right, here we go, guys. Here's the menu. Obviously some very, uh, yeah, interesting music there. Quite um, jolly, <laughs> shall we say. So yeah, it's the uh, usual family pocket kind of uh, menu here, where you get the choice of Chinese and English. Select and start down there. So yeah, we want to go to English, of course. Let's see which button I've got to press for that. I presume it's A. Is it? No, maybe not. Maybe it's start. There we go. So here we go guys, so you've got 20 in 1 here, so yeah, you've got Contra, you've got Gun, what's that, Gun, Knack, Gun, Knack, something like that anyway, Gun, Knack, uh, yeah, Ninja Gaiden 2, Turtles, Fighter, Aladdin 3 of course, Adventure Island, Super Mario, Tetris 2, and they naughty with the old Super Mario. Yes, they are. Let's go down the list. Let's go to the next one. There we go. I'll let you read that. Oh, you've got Gradius. That's cool. Further down. There we go to 20. So it's set, yeah, Friday the 13th. Wicked. Okay. Cool. Right. Let's go back. Let's try Super Mario, shall we? Let's see if it is actually 
very playable or not. Is this A this time? No? Oh, there we go. We're in. I found the right button. So yeah, one player. Look, they haven't even hidden the Nintendo, guys. It says Super Mario Brothers Nintendo. Deary me, eh? Naughty, naughty. Right. Is this it? Come on in. Let's go for it. It seems very fast, the music. Oh yes, that is very fast, <laughs> the music. Yeah, yeah, it's not so bad, the platform in itself. Oh, I just got rid of the bloody mushroom and a div. Hmm, I see. Oh, you don't go down this pipe anyway, of course. Yeah, I mean, it's playing all right. The music just seems quite loud to me. I mean, I might be wrong, but I don't think I am. Oh, you bugger. You got me straight away, look. But yeah, so that is, uh, yeah, fast music. But yeah, it's playing all right, guys. Oh, damn. One more go. Come on. Go away from this time. I'll tell you what, the controls feel pretty slick considering. They really do. I mean, the, the D pad is lovely, to be fair. Is exactly what it's meant to, that's for sure. Go up here, get that, shall we? Can we get it still? No, probably not. Oh, you bugger. No, we can't get it. Oh, well, never mind. Come on, you little sod, that's it. Cool. Yeah, that is absolutely fine. Right, let's press that menu button, shall we? And see what happens there. So right, we press that and it just takes you straight back. Back to the, this menu, guys, with the Chinese and English selection. Hmm. Okay. So we're back in here. Let's have a look at, hmm, Tetris 2, shall we? That music. <laughs> Right, okay, let's press start. Well, this looks quite interesting, I have to say. Yeah. Oh no, I don't want silent. Oh, you bugger, let's go back out. We've got to go back in again. Sorry, guys, I want some sound on there. Right, here we go again. Back down. Let's try that again, shall we? Right, okay, one player. Yeah. There we want. Mm, yeah, we'll leave it on zero. And handicap, yeah, zero. And then we want. No, we don't want silent. We'll have that. Should I have that one? Yeah, bugger it. We'll have that one then. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, it's Tetris, isn't it? Eh? That's all you can really say, isn't it? It's Tetris. It's doing what Tetris is meant to do. So that is pretty damn cool, because it's going to get very, very, you know, very hard to get something wrong with Tetris, to be fair, it's so simple, yet so cool. Yeah, I like that, that's a decent enough game of Tetris, isn't it? That music though. <laughs> yeah, that's fine guys, right, let's go back out again. It's a shame that it goes back to this menu instead of just the game list, doesn't it? They have to go through this every single time. That is a shame. But let's try and gun. Knack. Knack. Whatever that is. I'm not sure if that's an N or an M, to be honest. All right, here we go. Next. Next soft. Oh. Obviously, they're all NES games, guys. Fam fami Famicom games. Right, let's see what this one's like then, shall we? Let's just press start. Oh, I've got a knack. Yeah. There we go, now you can see it properly. Come on in, you, play. There we go. Yeah, you know, thank you, thank you very much, bye bye. There we go. So, yeah, it is a shoe Cool. I mean, that plays lovely, guys. Wow. 
That really does play with like the line, man. That's cool. Wow, I know I'm a little bit um, you know, biased when it comes to these uh, shoot lock games, guys, but that is fantastic. I like that a lot. Wow, that is cool. Tell you what's worth having this just for this game, guys. This is brilliant. Look at that. Wicked. What a fantastic thing. Yeah. You might have gathered I'm a bit of a fan of this one already. I think I've played it in the past, of course. But yeah, this it's lovely to play it on here. That is awesome. Look at that. You're shooting those and uh, freighters and then you get those faces coming up. That's wicked. I like that. That's a nice touch. But yeah. There we go, you can keep your finger on the button, keep those damn bullets going. Yeah, this, this, this is an awesome game, guys. I've played this forever. Um, I think I'd better stop, though. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up playing this for the majority of this video, aren't I? So, right, let's come back out of that. That was fantastic. What an awesome game to have on there, guys. Makes it worthwhile having this system just for that. Right, let's go back in again. Right, what shall we have a look at next? Oh, Turtle Fighter. Let's see what this is. Is it Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Hmm. Yes, it is. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There we go. Tournament Fighters. Right, we just want the normal one. Yeah, okay, that'll do. Thank you very much. Oh, that was just going into the, uh, the usual. Alright. So, yeah, we'll go with him. Right, okay then. Right, let's see then. Bit of screen tearing, nothing too major. Yeah, right in the middle there, so you can just about see it there. Bit of screen tearing there. Oh, he kicked my ass, isn't he? I don't think I've done him any damage at all yet. No, no damage at all. I'll tell you what, the buttons feel fantastic, it has to be said. They really, really do. Oh, I'm dead already, look. Damn. Yeah, brilliant, man, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, one more go, come on. What are the buttons here? Okay. All oh, right. okay, so that's how you punch, okay. Not that I'm doing very well punching, man. And he's just kicking my house again, isn't he? Yes, he is. But yeah, I'm impressed with these buttons, guys. They uh, they function pretty damn good, has to be said. So yeah. Right, shall we move on to another game? There we go, back in again, guys. And back in here. What shall we go for Aladdin 3, shall we? Because that's such a real game. Here we go. <laughs> Oh dear me, they're so naughty, they really are. Never mind, here we go. Let's see what we do on this thing. Yeah, this this is a game by a different name usually. It's a shoot em up, guys. I can't remember what it's called in it originally. But it's certainly not Aladdin 3. Oh, what is it called again? It's going to drive me mad, guys. But yeah, I can't remember what it's called. But it's not Aladdin 3. I know that much. They have just taken this game and giving it that title. Naughty, naughty. It's a pretty decent shooting up guys, apart from one dying like the clock does here. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a pretty good shooting up. Or oh, you could even be on the verge of seeing a cute one up, couldn't you? Because there's something a little bit cute about it, isn't it? But yeah, that'll probably be me dead now, is it? Oh no, still going guys, still going. But you know what, it's time to move on before I shame myself and die completely. Alright, let's go to another one. What have we got next? Shall we go for Ninja Gaiden 2? Yay! Right, let's see. Oh, yep, yeah, they got the proper name there of the company. Ninja Gaiden 2. Alright, interesting. That looks pretty uh, right to me.
That's pretty damn good, guys. Emulation there. No screen tearing on this uh, intro here. Let's uh, move on now. Let's go into the game itself and see what it's like as you play it. Right, here we go. Got a jump. That is your weapon. Okay. Oh yeah, that's, that, that's pretty damn good, guys, again. Can we get on that? Yes, we can. Oh, get back up there, you bugger. That's, oh, no, we can't get in. I thought we could get those. Come on. Yes, that's it. I haven't played this for a long time, guys. Oh, I was a little bit uh, <laughs> unsure what I had to do there again. Oh, come on, you bugger. <laughs> okay, then, fine, whatever. Can we go in there? No, we can't go in there. Get Oh, bugger you. Let's see get that instead. Yep, yeah, that is pretty damn cool. Oh, you sods. <laughs> I'm doing terrible, guys. Terrible. Yeah, that is pretty good, guys. Right, let's move on. That is such a shame you have to go through this every time. It really is. What a shame. Right, what should we go for? Adventure Island. Yeah. Let's go for that. Let's see if this is at uh, the right speed and what have you. Or we're going to have a Super Mario thing. Right, okay, here we go. I got it, just in time. Where's my skateboard, you buggers? Oh, I want to break that, that's it. We've got a hammer now, at least. Got it. Yep, that's playing pretty much as it's meant to, isn't it, eh? Sure is. Oh, I want that. Oh, you bugger. Oh, and then I fall over, of course. Get back quick. Go quick, quick, get it. Oh. Yeah, that is pretty damn cool, guys. It really is. There we go. Oh. Damn. Right, okay. Move on. Gotta do at least one more, guys. And obviously, I can jump back on this in the future if you wish me to. Right, let's see what we've got here then. I think we shall move on to the next one. Yeah, let's try... Hmm... Sky Hunter, shall we? Yeah, let's try Sky Hunter. It's a Sunsoft one. Cool. Right, okay, yeah, let's see how this goes then. Hopefully it's uh, playing well. Right, let's see what it runs like then. Hmm, how do I even get the car going? That's what I want. Ah, here we go, guys. That seems to be playing, ooh, pretty well. Apart from I just uh, completely crashed there, yeah. Yeah, that's doing the job it's meant to, of course. Oh, he smacks me. <laughs> Come on, you bugger, go. That's it, go. Come on. doing very well guys not doing very well the usual oh this is such a fun game guys it's hard as nails but very very fun it really is oh here comes a bloody helicopter again get out of my way bloody helicopter oh 
I think it's time to go back here as we wrap it up guys because we're going to go back and lay it all out and I'll give you my final thoughts back in a sec. Well guys I'm actually very very impressed with this and I'm not just saying that because it's a birthday present for my good friend and um, no it's actually a pretty damn good thing obviously the usual you know family clone type system You've got the uh, the rums on there, guys, which, um, you know, don't always translate well because they're usually uh, hacked rums. But, yeah, you get some fantastic games on there. I mean, we didn't even go through the whole 20 that are on there. But that was already pretty damn cool, what we played there, guys. I mean, you know, what do you expect from something like this, you know? It does exactly what it's meant to do. It plays you a handful of, you know, family clone, NES clone guys, games, and it does it well. This little thing is actually quite fantastic. The buttons on it are damn good. I like it as a separate menu button. Yeah, they all feel so nice, guys. It is uh, pretty much the same quality as you get with the handheld uh, family pockets, guys. They um. They all have the same kind of build quality, which is actually pretty damn sturdy. Nice plastic. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good all around. Their whole family of uh, systems. Don't get a lot in the box. You get the menu, obviously. <laughs> the menu. Ha ha ha. The manual. And your TV lead, which is lovely and long. The only negative I had is that you go back to that menu where the... Uh, yeah. The choices between Chinese and English. That is a bit annoying after a while, you know, you keep pressing that menu button and it just takes you back there. Which is a shame. It's a shame it doesn't go back into the game list. It really, really is. But, you know what, you can live with it. It's a fantastic little thing. I even love the box. I think the box is pretty damn cool as well. I just love the look of it. It's going to look lovely sitting on a shelf with the rest of my... Uh, bootleg systems isn't it but yeah what a fantastic little thing it really is and a brilliant addition to my collection from the uh, yeah the family pocket line guys love it oh it just looks gorgeous with that you know funny clone uh, look i do adore that very very much that gold and red together yeah so reminiscent of funny clone so yeah guys, there we are. Famicom? Famicom. Oh, I'm getting it all wrong today guys. I'm blaming the heat. It's getting to my brain. But yeah guys, there we are. We've unboxed it. We've looked at it. And we've played on it. The Family Pocket. Uh, how do we term it again here? The Family Pocket Portable Player. There we are. If you can actually see that because it's out of focus there we go yep we have done it so with that guys it's just for me to wrap it up as usual guys and say the usual if you're not subbed already please drop me a sub give me a thummy thumbs up if you feel that way inclined and of course tap the bell icon and the all icons to get any future notifications whatsoever and again guys if you love emulation like this because that's what it is isn't it I have a fantastic group view on Facebook. Whether you like portable emulation, whether you like plugging it into the TV or over your PC, the Retro Emulation Fan Group is the place to be. We now have over a thousand three hundred members, so plenty of people for you to have a banter with. And we have tons of videos for you guys, some system unboxings like this. Uh, emulation performance tech out videos and a whole lot more guys so yeah if you just love emulation because it's the future guys to preserve some of these classics that would vanish otherwise so yeah it's so link below guys head over and we'd love to see you there and then guys i also have my uk crack gaming facebook group as well where we cover everything from the dawn of gaming with Pong machines right the way through to PS5 and everything that came in between. 
Again, Evergrowing member base, fantastic admin team, and tons of content because other YouTubers put their videos up there every single day, including myself, of course. So, if you just love gaming from any generation, that's the place to be. Again, a link below, guys. Come down, head over, and ask to join. I'll accept you in no time. And then, guys, finally, I have my membership. So, if you want to be a member of the UK Kraut family, you can do so from as little as 99p per month. All you have to do, guys, is find that join button. The 99p a month will already get you access to the members only videos. You get a little icon next to your name in the comments, which changes colour every month. And yeah, there is more tiers there as well, guys, and more perks. If you go to that join button, you can have a look at the other tiers. But as I said, it starts at 99p a month. Right, with that, guys, I'm going to wrap things up. And I'm going to see you off video then. Tschüss and goodbye. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.